<laughs> All right, guys, gonna do something I've never done before. Just kind of came to my head the other night. I was thinking what's a good kind of woodworking project to do with skateboards. We're gonna make some broken skateboard house shoes slash flip flops. So first we're gonna, this one's already sanded down. I'm gonna sand this one down and then we'll do some tracing and some cutting. Got some non-abrasive grip tape. And yeah, we're just gonna kind of wing this and see how it goes. Okay, so now we're gonna try to do, I wanna try to incorporate one of the hardware holes as one of the mounting loops for our, our toe thing, if you will. Hey, little whippersnapper. Oh, I'm done with the sanding part. Now what are you going to do? Well, now I'm tracing uh, this out. You're cleaning? Yeah, I'm cleaning all this stuff. Okay. Not bad, huh? Oh. Two new insults. <laughs> so, there's the kind of rough draft, if you will. Um, you can obviously bouge these up as much as you want. Like, you could take a router to it, you could do whatever. Um, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount my you know, the foot thing, the thong thing. And then I got this non-abrasive grip tape. I'm not exactly pumped on how it feels or whatever. So I ordered another thing of black. Hopefully it's like the more foamy one or, you know. Boom. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Um, and I'm just gonna drill kind of two holes right there. Do this super simple drill and then just tie laces over it and hopefully you know, that does it. I guess first I should probably do grip tape and drill it all through together. Time to see if this stuff actually sticks. Hey. All right, so I figured this out, guys. What we're gonna do, I'm trying to make this so all skateboarders can do this with what they have laying around the house. So you're gonna take a shoelace, right? And you drill your three holes like we did. Or drill two holes, use your hardware holes, another one. Pull one end through, okay? Pull one end through the bottom. You're gonna put the other one through the top. You're gonna take a washer. Yeah, hang on, bud. You're gonna put it through the bottom. Okay. Now you're gonna go around the other side of that washer. So it's like that. You're gonna pull it tight. <gasps> Boom. See that? That shoelace ain't going anywhere. Pull that through the middle. So look at that. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a piece of, what do we got here? 
Gorilla duct tape. And try that much at first. Real small piece. Just gonna roll it up. Alright, perfect, okay, so there we go guys, you take a speed washer, a shoelace, a board and some non-abrasive grip tape, and there's your sandal, your flip flop, so now we're just going to wait for the grip tape to get here for the bottom, then we'll have some grip, then we'll have some sick seaboard sandals, alright guys, so Got these little paddings from Amazon. I have no idea. Why does every time do I start talking, there's an airplane driving by. Anyway, got these pads from Amazon. I have no idea how they stick. I'm actually very happy with how squishy, squishy they are. So we're just going to try it out now. Recycled, upcycled skateboard sandals. If you want, feel free to put the squishy pads on the top there, but I kind of wanted it so I could feel like I'm standing on the board. But I'll probably actually keep doing this with more boards when I feel like I've got some spare time. Definitely do a set with the cushion on top. Um, and I gotta figure out a different way to do the thong part because it does dig into your feet but overall pretty stoked on a little you know 20 minute project if you have all your supplies ready to go so there you go guys